Today we're going to be getting a unique perspective of the sperm whales of Kaikoura from the sky. So it's a brand new morning here at the Dusky Lodge Backpacker in Kaikoura and today we are heading to the airport not because we're leaving but because we are taking a flight over the whales. It's called... Uh, Wing wings over whales. Wings over whales. <laughs> not whales over wings. No way. <laughs> Now that we've got the name confusion cleared out, we are making our way to the airport where we're going to be meeting the team from Wings Over Wales. But first let us show you a little bit the airport. It is completely whaled out. There is well fluffy toys, there are whale pillows, there are those toys where you shouldn't ask me where my finger is. And there is even some more explanation about the life cycle of the whales, including some cut out of fake whales so we know exactly how they live. But for more about that, Edward, which is going to be also our pilot, is giving us an in-depth presentation about the whole life cycle of the whales and what they eat. It's absolutely fascinating, but we're here for the flight. It's really cool to get some information about the whales before the excitement of seeing the whales overloads us and we don't retain any of it. So once we've learned a few really awesome facts about the sperm whales that are the sort of local residents of Kaikoura, we are then taking off into the skies for the start of our whale watching flight. Before we even get to see any wildlife though, we are amazed by the coastal views around Kaikoura. The water is vibrantly blue and we're seeing black sand beaches and a really rugged and rocky coastline as well. And our guide Edward has said that the first person who spots a whale today, he is going to be buying them an ice cream, which of course means that he's he must be fairly confident that he's going to see one first. And sure enough, right ahead of us, we see the full length of a sperm whale in the ocean below. It's a really unique experience that I didn't see coming. I thought we we're just going to be seeing a few small dots over the water, maybe a bit of water spraying, but we get to see the whole length of the whale because the water is so transparent. It's absolutely amazing to be able to make out a few of the whale part, like its fin and its teeth. We can see the blowhole, we can see the whole tail. It's absolutely fascinating. Because the underwater Kaikura Canyon is such an amazing place to get so much food if you're a whale, Kaikura is one of the rare places in the world where you can see whales all year round. And in fact, you can see that many whales that there is almost every single species of whale in the world that have been recorded here, except for only two. Combine that with the fact that our pilot is super experienced and know where to find the whales almost every single time of the day and we get to see so many of them. In fact, during this entire flight, we get to see five of them and that is to the delight of me and Laura. Considering these whales spend about 40 minutes fishing in the Kaikoura Canyon and only about 10 minutes breathing on the water surface, it's really amazing the amount of whales that we are seeing on this flight and that's really thanks to the knowledge of our guide who knows how to time these flights well to see as many whales as possible. Also throughout the flight, Edward is giving us commentary through a microphone into our headphones so we can learn more about these amazing sperm whales as we are flying over them. For instance, they are the animal with the largest brain in the world. They're also the largest tooth predator because unlike the blue whale or the finned whale, they're not filter feeders, they actually have giant teeth. We really didn't know what we were getting into when we arrived at the Kaikoura airport. We had really no idea what a whale watching flight would be and we didn't know how much we were going to be seeing, how many whales we are going to be seeing and how in-depth the commentary will be. And in terms of expectation, consider our expectations surpassed after that tour. It was absolutely amazing. After seeing four waves around the Kaikura Peninsula, we got to make our way back toward the airport and while doing that we got to see even more of the stunning rugged coastline of the Kaikura Peninsula as well as the awesome farmlands around. We even got an amazing view of the beautiful mountain backdrop that Kaikura is known for. It was an all-round experience and within only an hour we basically got to see everything that Kaikura had to offer and it was a great way to introduce ourselves to the sperm whales of the area because we're gonna go onto a boat very soon to check them very very much up close. Do you want to open the door? 
with the key that you have in your pocket. Fucking hell, that's painful. <laughs> that's what I have to deal with every day. 